Oh no, I can almost hear you saying, not Tom Perrier again going on about the rock project and all its virtues. Well, actually, you're right, because this video is not Tom Perrier going on about it. It's members of All Saints expressing their enthusiasm and excitement about what is planned for the rejuvenation and the revitalization and the reimagining of All Saints Church. So, for once, that's enough for me, and now over to them. fantastic for the whole community for Western itself just to have a church open more than one day a week two days a week it'll be just fantastic with a lovely new entrance that's planned that will be much more welcoming especially for newcomers if we want people to come in from the village I think they need to feel more at home and um, more easily that it would be more easily accessible for them um, the church itself um, could do with an overhaul so that's the part that I'm most excited about. And obviously having the new facilities will make the building much more flexible. It will open it up to community groups. Um, it will make it much more welcoming generally. I agree with everything uh, <laughs> my wife says, on <laughs> almost everything. And I'm very excited with the new rock proposal there being a purpose-built crash somewhere that is warm and comfortable and soundproof, um, but where we can still hear the service and feel part of what's going on in church. So I'm really looking forward to seeing the church more welcoming and user-friendly. So I'd love to get rid of the pews and replace with chairs so that we can move them into different shapes and also have an entrance where people in wheelchairs can enter in the same entrance as everybody else. And everybody can come in together, it'll be a welcoming space, um, a nice open area once we get inside where people can talk to each other and congregate and have coffee and so on. And it's, it's generally welcoming, open, warm and accessible for everybody. That's the important things. I'm in for it because it'll allow people of my age and or younger to um, be able to have a building that is fit to serve the community for generations to come. I'm excited about the possibility of new things and, and where God might be leading us in the future with this project. The main thing is that there's going to be much greater flexibility in the use of the space. Removing the, the pews that have been there for about 150 years uh, and limiting uh, everything that, could, that that big space could be used for. I think the rock project is very ambitious, uh, but from a perspective of church development and church growth, I think it's important because our aim really as believers is to be in the community build and grow the community so that people come to know Christ. Having a centre like All Saints Church here, beautiful building though it is, it has its limitations in the facilities and access points, um, lots of other things. It's, it's, it's old, it's old that some of the, you know, the wiring is old, heating's old. That needs to be brought up to date and I think the Rock Project does that in um, a very positive way, not only just for the fellowship here, but also for the community. So the rock project is really expensive and um, we've all got demands on our money and it is hugely daunting. But I think as a church we can rise to this challenge if we choose to. When we've got our own buildings, our own houses and we need to improve it, um, we're willing to spend the money. So why not in our church family be willing to invest in the future of our community and our church family? We have a saviour who provides all our needs and I think if we uh, present it in a particular way, a powerful and a positive way, I think that will be a great benefit to the church and to the community. If we believe that this is God's will, then God will provide the money. He might want to provide quite a bit of it from our wallets and bank accounts, but he will provide the money. I love the sense of community and even family which you can get from meeting people here. This is an excellent chance to show that as a Christian community 
Um, we really love and care for God's world, which is in such trouble, I mean the environmental world. Mm -hmm. And I'm really hoping that we can have a more modern heating system that uses less energy, and that maybe we can have solar panels and generate some of our own electricity as well. Uh, in my own life, in my own house, in fact, mm -hmm. uh, I've lived in my property for a long time, and I continue to improve it uh, structurally, you know, and decorate it and continually do things like that. And I think in church, it's, it's as important to do that. You, you wouldn't expect to live in a house for 100 years without doing anything to it. And what I'm excited about is to see a development to bring the church into the 21st century. We had the creche in the vestry, well, what was the old choir vestry, where the loos are. And every time anybody wanted to go to the loo, they had to climb over the children. Um, and quite a lot of them got stepped on. For different events, like weddings and larger catered events, there's many more options than here at the centre. The big thing that I'm really enthusiastic about is having a new purpose designed creche because for the last six years I've had small children and have had nowhere to be with them. The current creche is cold and dark and damp and not soundproof and not childproof and um, not really been a great place to be. I'm just looking forward to the worship <laughs> in that new space, so it'll be fantastic. To have a room that we could have a creche in Right, right next to where the church is, where the service is going on, would be just fantastic. Being able to come into church if you um, have no problem with mobility, or if you're in a wheelchair, or if you struggle to get up steps, or if you have um, a push chair or uh, a buggy, um, you can come in through a, an accessible entrance altogether, which is, I think, is just a great reflection of the community that we're in. I support the Rock Project 100%. I'm really strongly in favour of the Rock Project. I, I really think this will help the church. I, I, it's going to be transformational, as I said, and in the next few years are going to be exciting. I support the Rock Project. Count me in. I can't wait for the Rock Project to start, and I'm really looking forward to seeing it come to fruition. And James, count me in for the Rock Project. I think the Rock Project is a great idea. And I'm very much in support of the Rock Project. You really can't wait for it to happen. The Rock Project is both daunting and exciting, but count me in. I love the Rock Project. I'm really looking forward to come to fruition very soon.